feel like I just went to a restaurant, ordered, I'll, I'll take what's in the garbage pail and a nice glass of sewer water. That's what I feel like I just did. This is <laughs> pathetic. It really is. This is disgusting. I mean, we're watching a Brutal. team get a lead every night and just, it's its Christmas. Not only that, but they, your they, starter. By the way, let's call in Santa Claus from the bullpen because we're giving things away. Might as well every single night. Right. Watching this game, I saw a lifeless Phillies team. I mean, excuse me, Reese Hoskins is standing underneath the baseball. That, that is awful. And you're calling it and you're still on the other side of the mound? Wake up. I don't know how you felt, but I was like embarrassed for a lot of the players out there. I thought I thought this game was an embarrassment to baseball. I felt like I felt like the bad news bears type stuff today. What kind of what, what are you throwing out there? Yeah. This is a this is a ball club. I feel I, I'm not I'm going to put it to you this way. I feel bad for the regular players on this team. I have I've been on bad bullpens before, but this is worse than that. This is this if there is not a divide in the clubhouse, there's something wrong with the heart on part of the team. I think I would have left them in because I don't trust the bullpen, which nobody in Philadelphia does right now. And then after seeing what Hector Neris did in that inning, dropping a baseball on the mound. He That's just dropped it. You dropped how about any, is there a different nightmare we could live through? Because I'd rather do that than watch Hector Nares drop a stinking baseball for a balk on the mound. What, what is really going on? It's an embarrassing game. Being a former player, if, if I'm going into that last game of the season, I am giving everything I possibly have to win that game. This, this was one of the, look, I, I look at this whole season, and I will take some bad losses because there were plenty of them. This was as bad as it gets just because the guys did not show up to play today. You know what really irked me? We just saw it. Mike Schilt from the bench yelling at Joe Girardi. Sick. Are you kidding me? Shut up and sit down on the bench. What, what, he had no right to say anything at that no, point. I agree. Yeah, give, give me a freaking break. John, to go, so to go sick of this crap. Hmm? What? That's a what is he doing? What's he doing? He Watch. Are you serious? Is analytics telling him to stand there? Because I'll tell analytics to go, the, you know what I'm saying? This is me. I've played for this team. This may be my favorite Philly of all time. I just love the, I love his swing, and I love his hands, and I love his quickness with his hands. I, and I, I also like that his home runs look absolutely gorgeous going out of the ball. What is up with Aaron Nola? Mm -hmm. And the only thing that I can come up with right now is that he has absolutely hit a brick wall. This is what you expect in spring training. This is what you expect from a team that's uh, coming into spring training. And when you leave spring training, you leave all this garbage in Florida uh, uh, at the ballpark. I, I, I saw some stuff. I mean, the pop-ups, not communicating with, with guys right next to you, errors, uh, base running mistakes. This is get, this, it is late July. We are going into August. These mistakes should be gone a long time ago. Then Thompson taking out... Uh, Christopher Sanchez, yeah, 73, 73 pitches. pitches. I don't care what your analytics say. That was a horrible move. Mm -hmm. Horrible, a horrible move.